Morning folks, Lone Wolf here again and welcome back to the channel. Now at the risk of being super super boring, we're back on the exhaust system. Right, if you want to see the latest developments, uh, stay tuned. Okay, so what we've done, let's put it all, wind it back to where we started. Original bike, changed the pipe to the old fire torch. I think I put a link up here. It's been some time back, but you should want to watch that one if you watch that first. Did that, loved it. Absolutely no problem. Then in the search for um, the smooth throttle, which inevitably I'm never going to get until... Our friends at Safe Motor release uh, the new map update, which apparently they have done anyway now in Indonesia and in uh, Australia at a 0.64 and we're on 0.61. And speak to somebody on the net, they reckon that solved the problem, whether it has or not, I don't know. We'll have to wait until we actually get it. So in the meantime, in the search, what did I do? Right, put a link pipe on. Put the link pipe on. Um, I'll put a link up here. Uh, for that one, uh, great. Still they cure the uh, problem with the uh, throttle, but blimey did it sound. It was too loud. I liked it personally, I thought it was great, but unfortunately it's too loud. When I was doing my vlogging, as you know, it was just dire. So I ended up putting the Audi AM pipe back on, hence the video, I'm gutted. It's up here again. Right, so I did the good thing. It sat, didn't sit comfortable with me putting the OEM pipe back on. I've got to admit, you know what I mean? I think the OEM pipe does the job, but it looks I mean, awful. You know what I mean? It really looks ancient. It makes the bike look naff. So in the search to get the old fire torch back on, I changed again to a new link pipe and put, uh, it's done the trick. Videos up here. And it has done the trick. I've got to be honest, it sounds as sweet as a nut. But then, to throw another spanner in the works, one of my subscribers um, lives really local to me, and I didn't know that, a guy named John O'Donnell. He says to me, he sent me a message, he says, why don't you put some wadding on the exhaust, on your fire torch? And I thought, well, that's a good idea, right? Thought about it, then lo and behold, he sends me another message. I've got some foot modding and I'm pretty local. Well, he actually lives about five minutes away from me, seven minutes away from me. So I popped over to see the guy, and what's he come up with? This modding, and also still uh, braces to wrap it round. A real gentleman, the guy is, I've got to be honest, i put that back there. He's done it on one of his bikes, one of his Blackbird, and it's just sorted his issue out. He could keep his best sounding exhaust on, but it just dampen it a bit. Now, I think this will be the ultimate, but we'll never know until we've done it. So the plan is, what I'm going to do, get the bike going. I'm going to put my second microphone at a distance of it two metres, I've marked it two metres away and put the, there. Fire the bike up, bike's in the garage, I'm taking the out this morning and uh, fire it up, exhaust sticking out and see what it sounds like as it stands now. So that is with the secondary link pipe on, the new one with the small cat in and the fire torch on with the baffle in but without the wadding. So we'll do that first. Second phase then will be to remove the baffle. Easy, there's only one screw. I'll wrap the wadding round it. I'll do all this, I'll show you all this on video. Slide the baffle back in with the wadding on. And then redo a test of the uh, sound again at two meters with a secondary microphone. The one, this one here, 
and I've got a second one works on the same system comes in stereo so you might, might be a bit off-putting but I'll level it up when I do the uh, the edit and then see if that made a difference John reckons it makes a massive difference and I've got to believe I think it probably will and it may then it's the actual superb job this done so without further ado what we'll do is we'll uh, get the bike warm and I'll, I'll set the uh, the exhaust at uh, two metres so as you can uh, hear it. I switch the bike on. Right, as you can hear that, I'll let it tick over a little bit. So it's a little bit warm. And then I'll move this microphone and I'll put it on the box and uh, give it some room. Okay then, so that was the pipe as it is now. So what I'll do is I'll uh, whip the baffle out, put the wadding round it, and uh, we'll take it from there, shall we, and see what happens. So folks, it's the TB killer. Oh, what a big piece of kit that is, look at this. Next to nothing in it really, next to nothing. So, uh, I'll try and wrap it with some wadding and we'll see how we get on. I it's really short, so I don't know whether it's going to make that much difference, to be fair. Uh, it's because it's really short, but we'll, we'll try it. Okay, folks, so here it is. I've wrapped it with some wadding. Um, I don't know how much that's going to do. Might do some it, might not. I could do it be if it's a bit longer, I reckon we'd have a chance. But um, it may do, so I don't know. We don't, I really don't know. We'll have proof of the puddings in the eating in it. So I'm gonna slide this back in and we'll get test two. Right folks. Slipped it back in, put the screw back in. I ain't put the little rubber grommet back yet. I'll wait till I've finished. Um, and we'll try test two, shall we? Um, I'll be... I don't know. I really don't know whether it make any difference. But let's see. I'll switch the bike on. Just wait for it to uh, come into life. Move the microphone now back to the place. So folks, what's the verdict, do you reckon? It stopped, it, it took it down a, a few dBs. Definitely took it down a few dBs. Um, so, I don't really know, I'll put it in edit and I'll have a listen, close up.
and see what I think. But uh, it's definitely done some it, one way or another. So we'll uh, we'll have to see. Right then, I'd like to thank Mr. John O'Donnell for his uh, wadding and his idea. Uh, hopefully, it's uh, going to make that little bit of difference. Personally, I love this sound. I love this sound, and I love this fire torch, and I love this bike. And it's just a case of trying to find, as I said in the previous video, up here somewhere, the balance. It's just trying to find that, that little bit in between where it's nice enough for me, but it doesn't interfere with the uh, audio on the videos. So, it's your own wolf. So, again, thanks to Mr. John O'Donnell for your wadding and your ideas. I shall be popping around to see you soon to show you the bike and uh, you can listen to it yourself. But also, thanks to all the subscribers who've took the trouble to subscribe to the channel. Tell your mates, keep doing it. Channel's growing bit by bit. It's going all right now, I must admit. We seem to have got over a little milestone. And once you get past that, that area, it seems to add and add and add and add and get bigger and bigger and bigger. We've gone a little bit static. We've gone up. And now we've gone like that, but some new videos on the way. Um, by the time you get this one, you should have seen um, the run out to the Eland Valley, which was fantastic, great scenery, loved it. And the previous ones to this about the exhaust, uh, putting the uh, small cat on. So it's Lone Wolf saying bye for now. Don't forget, give us a tick, a like, subscribe. Until the next time, just remember. Be careful out there. Slow wolf, bye for now. Bye for now.